In this video, I will demonstrate how to align a wafer to the reference plane of our probing system using the auto-align feature in Velox. We will then generate a wafer map. Here you see Cascade's Spectrum software. We have already loaded a wafer with a number of FET devices on the chuck of our probe station. But the wafer looks a little crooked, right? Let's fix that. Once we click the button with the A on it, it instructs us to move the scope and chuck to the start position where there is a unique pattern that repeats across the die. Using the joystick at the side of the prober, we've chosen a large capacitor structure with its associated pads. After clicking Next, the auto alignment routine kicks into gear. It scans the wafer to look for that same pattern in other reticles across the die. Aha, it found it. Now it does a rotational alignment and then continues to scan. Now it tries to figure out the vertical dimension of the reticle. Pretty cool, right? Now that it is finished, we instruct the system to build a wafer map based on its scan. After clicking Finish, the wafer map has now been uploaded to Velox. The alignment is now complete, and the prober returns to its start position. We may define this as our home position in Velox. Here's the cool part. We can double-click any reticle across the wafer, and with micron-level precision, we can visit that same device repeated in different reticles. Notice that each of the reticles has now been numbered, and we see the coordinates across the wafer. For example, in the current location highlighted in red, that's reticle number 20, and with coordinates negative 1, 5. We can redefine what the 0, 0 reticle is. After switching from the wafer map configuration tab to the coordinates tab, we can set the origin which is marked with a red asterisk. After selecting it, we can move it to our desired location and notice that all of the coordinates for our reticles changes. Let's define our home position based on the FET at the lower left of the reticle. We will place this at the absolute center of our scope view. That looks pretty good. If we now right-click on the Home button, we may set the current position to the home position. Notice that X and Y are now 0 and 0 because we have not deviated from our home position. Next, let's move our probes so that when we lower them, they will very gently skate on the pads for this device to assure good contact. Next, we set the microscope focus such that it focuses on the probe pads. Now, when we move the chuck up to make contact with the probes, we will see that the probe pads will move slightly inward towards each other. Looking at the panel on the left, we have three speeds of control, super slow, slow, and fast. When we hit the down arrow on the Z setting, that means that the chuck is moving up. You have to think of it from the perspective of the probes. Once we get close enough, we make the final adjustments using the positioners holding the probes. Now that we are making contact to the wafer, we may set the contact height by right-clicking on the contact height button. Notice that once the height has been set, these buttons go from gray to colored, which means that they are active. Many times, you can use the CAD data to determine the spacing between various devices that you want to measure. Here, we will illustrate a measurement using the Spectrum software from Cascade. Using their measurement tool, you can click from the corner of one pad to the corner of another pad and look at the distance annotated on the screen. I'll be using these measurements to build up a device table that shows the relative position of each of the devices within a reticle. In this video, we demonstrated how to automatically align our wafer to the probe station. Given all of our measurements across the wafer, the software automatically generated a wafer map. You may check out other videos in this series for further useful demonstrations, like how to configure Wafer Pro Express with instruments and prober control software, an on-wafer RF calibration, or a Wafer Pro project setup.